What's up, brothers and sisters? Let's talk about why the kingdom of heaven is within you. Now, we know heaven is not up there for my enlightened ones. We know heaven ain't up there because heaven is within. Now, where's the heaven that's within? It's right here. It's your mind frame. That's why in Revelation, they talk about a new heaven, which is a new mind. So when people teach that heaven is within, they feel they have to go within to find heaven. But not understanding it's the supper. It's the last supper, which is the food for thought, the information that helps you find the kingdom within. Because if the kingdom within, why we ain't found it yet? Why we ain't find it 50 years ago? Why we ain't find it 20 years ago? If everybody has the kingdom within them. So we know the kingdom of God is about renewing your mind so you can enter the kingdom. So in other words, you have to renew your mind to find the kingdom which is in you, which would be a new mind frame. And again, this is why the Last Supper is talked about. Or come eat. All those who are hungry and thirsty, come eat. So other people are selling you a dream. If you come to my church, if you get on your knees, if you read your Bible, you will go to heaven. But I'm coming with the food that help you renew your mind to find that kingdom within you, which is a mind frame. So don't let people fool you because there's a lot of people out here who have heard my, heard my sayings and they twist it to their own way. And this is why it says they took Christ's garments and they cast lots. So they'll take my information and go teach it in their form. But not understanding where this information is coming from. But this information is just not coming from a mind frame. It's coming from God. So I just want to bring that enlightenment, y'all, on why the kingdom is, is within you. You know, because the kingdom of God is within you. You ain't going up there. You ain't going to get it when you pass away. You receive the kingdom by renewing your mind and you find within. That's why it's a narrow path. It's this narrow path you have to go. Now, many people have not walked the narrow path because they listen to everybody. They listen to this person. They listen to that person. They listen to this person. But to find that, that narrow door that God has placed on the earth, and you walk that path, and you will find that key. So as always, brothers and sisters, I hope the Father has circumcised your hearts and ears for the message.